I just lost this home that I had just moved into. After being without a home for the last 15 months, I had just moved to Norway, to the Arctic, to Tromsø. On the day I actually moved into my new home, the landlord though immediately gave me notice that I would need to move out in three months. So now, well I guess I have to find myself a new home. Hey, my name is Janneke and in October 2022 I sold most of my belongings and left the comfortable life I had built for myself in Switzerland. For a life full of adventures and uncertainties. Now I had this strong urge to spend more time in the Arctic, to build an adventure base here that I can always return to in between adventures, where I can plan the new ones and create videos of the old ones. One day though I want this home base to be on my own sailboat, but for this moment that I don't own a sailboat, I thought a home in Norway would also do. On this land there is this big house and some small storage houses as well as my tiny home. Now let me show you what this dream of a tiny home looks like from the inside because I will stay in there for the next two or three months. So it did make it a bit cozy for me. There's this small entrance to leave all the warm jackets and sturdy boots you need when living this far north in the Arctic. Straight ahead then is the bathroom with floor heating, which is super nice. And it has this smart clothes rack that I really like because you can just move it back into its place and it's completely out of the way. It's amazing. And to the side of the entrance, there is the entrance to the living room and kitchen, also with super nice, comfortable floor heating. So now I get to create my videos here and enjoy life in between the other two jobs that I organized myself here in Norway. But honestly, I didn't know whether I would even want to stay here another month because by the time I moved in here, I didn't own anything. I didn't own any furniture. So that meant a quite big investment just to be able to stay here. And if you have any sort of like a nomad brain like I do, you know that the less things you own, the easier it is to travel. And now here I was acquiring things without knowing whether I can make use of them after moving out of this place, or if I would need to sell them again, whether I would be able to sell them again. There was just so much uncertainty in my whole body, in my whole system. It was not the nicest start. <laughs> it was a very emotional first week in this house and I am really grateful for the last years in which I have learned how to feel such strong emotions and actually make use of them. Now I know how important it is to truly feel these emotions and the sensations in our bodies so that they are not pushed down and get stuck in our body, but they get to transform into something new and we get to create our dream life with these emotions, even if they feel so bad in that moment. It has not been the easiest start moving to the Arctic, but honestly, when is it ever easy to leave your comfort zone, to continue growing and challenging yourself? So I'd rather challenge myself and feel all these strong emotions than feeling safe, but also kind of numb. But now let's finish the house tour first. These stairs then, they lead into the bedroom. There is simply a bed that I bought for 21 euro. And as I didn't set my financial priority on a wardrobe, all my clothes are laying on the floor, but nicely sorted. I wanted this home to be a place I can feel safe. A place that I can get creative, where my basic needs are covered. Feeling like I had immediately been kicked out of my home made it not feel safe at all. It continuously reminded me that it can't be taken away from me in the blink of an eye. So instead of relying on the house to give me that feeling of safety, I'm now giving that to myself. Whenever strong emotions come up, I work through them. I feel them and let them transform. 
When there are strong thoughts occupying my mind, I listen to the fear they are trying to communicate to me and the need behind it. So I can make sure I fill that need myself and act accordingly. This might not be the way we have been raised and the kind of romanticized view of our emotions, but I finally understand how I can regulate myself, how I can continuously challenge myself by doing things outside of my comfort zone so I can grow while feeling safe. I will live here for the next months and I have no idea where I will live afterwards. But I fully trust it will be amazing and I will make use of the time I get to live in this beautiful tiny home. Because how cool is it that I get to watch the moose in my own backyard while even having dinner inside. And one day I will be able to introduce you to my future home on my own future sailboat. Until then I'd say I'm one day closer to making that dream a reality. So if you are just as curious as I am when or if at all I will be able to create this dream life of mine then hit the subscribe button and be part of this journey. It's much more fun to do it together.